All right, I'm making some coffee. I feel like a zombie, and but I got this downloaded in my meditation, so I really wanted to speak it. Um, I got the analogy of a woman's egg being fertilized by the sperm and how I don't think there's any way of knowing the actual process and how it happens, but they disproved one of the theory of the fastest swimmer being the one, and which I think is interesting because then the, the this other theory is, says that the woman's egg actually chooses which sperm to fertilize, and I that analogy in relation to dating like hit me so hard because it's like. A woman, we bear the babies, like, and and I mean, of course, and we live in a plant. Uh, we we'll live in a world that's like you even have the choice whether or not you want to bear children. Um, but to me, that still goes back to dating, and it's like men, because of their sperm and the way they're wired and etc. Like they they have all these options, and they may explore all these options when it comes to women, and they kind of have that they have that primal part of them that they they fall into of like just wanting to have sex and just wanting to repopulate, just wanting to have sex and experience pleasure. And um, that idea of having lots of women and we may maybe even have grown up with that, that being like pushed on them, that belief, that whatever ideology. Um, Yet the woman's, the woman actually is supposed to be the one choosing and, but it takes this like evolution and letting go of all these beliefs and coming back into your power to realize that as a woman, yes, like we absolutely have the, have the right to turn down anybody and say no. And, but men also have to get to a place that they respect that and they understand that that's the natural way of things. And because a woman is bearing children, <laughs> And because of, um, I mean, I think a man, I think a man and a woman should both honor their temple. I don't think the whole worshiping of a woman's body, like that's a, that's another thing that too is a choice. Um, But to me, it's still, I don't know. I don't know. And maybe I'm just an I'm old fashioned or an old, I know I'm an old soul and it's a kind of, it's very ancient the way of thinking, but it's like just something about that to me. The fact that a woman is, has the, has the added burden of, a, of a lot of emotions too, which I know men have their, they have other burdens that they deal with in the outer world that are different than a woman, but to me, it's like a man, it should be that a man is proving that he is the one for her. And I've always been a monogamous. So, I mean, I've always been like one guy. Um, I definitely had like, a I definitely went through some phases of just like frivolous dating or just serial dating, whatever it's called. And, um, but I even one time was almost juggling two guys that was just casually dating. And it was like, I, I couldn't, like, it was like, I can't, <laughs> how do people do this? Like, um, so it is very, it's very interesting being a human and having this, having as many options as we have and stuff like that because of the, the way that we live and the, and the time that we're living in and stuff like that. Um, But I just think, thought that was an interesting analogy that came to me because it's like, ultimately, I do think that that's how it should be because it, also in a relationship, it should be this. And I mean, there's the whole, like, if a woman chooses to use her oracle and like evolve her, her psychic abilities, stuff like that, then it's like, you are actually the leader in the spiritual. So it's like a woman is also leading you in that way in the relationship. So... I mean, I think we're really meant for monogamy, but I understand that we all, we're here to explore and experience different things too. And um, there's all different kinds of ways of living. So I'm not here to tell you how to live, but nonetheless, a woman does bear that burden because we do have birth control, but it doesn't always, it's not foolproof. Um, so it's just, we have this ability to go against our nature, but I do think that it has repercussions. I mean, obviously I'm sitting here as a single parent saying this, but, um, 
so I have I have a personal like bias opinion about it but even with that aside I just think it's interesting because the nature of us as as man and woman is that it should be the woman choosing who she wants to be her partner and to have children you know like to me it just, to me too it's like you both have your ways in which you lead each other in a relationship, but I, I do feel that way. I feel that I feel that man should prove it, should prove himself, should prove that he's trustworthy, that he's respectful and all those things because, um, it's a, it goes both ways. Of course, like you need, we, and we need to be able to check each other sometimes if we get out of line. So it's not like I just feel like it's a woman is our, if a woman evolves and heals, she's already leading in the spirit. She's already leading. She's already choosing. She's already looking to God. And so then it should be, then it's a man shows that he is a worthy leader because she is also submitting to that and saying, okay, I'm allowing you to lead in this relationship. So that's a big responsibility. Um, and that's why love and relationships are wild. <laughs> All right, I was not there.